arts education was my savior. <laughs> you know, uh, you might find it hard to believe, but I was a really shy kid growing up. And I never liked going out for recess to play with other kids. Uh, but Miss Luke let me hang out in the art studio with my best friend Yvonne and just draw. Uh, she even let us play with oil paints and draw architectural renderings. Like that's, that's how I spent my, my recesses, my lunch periods, because it was this safe place. It was a place where I felt welcomed, where I felt free to express myself. It was a sanctuary. Later in high school, um, so much of my identity at Skyline High School was as a dancer. Uh, I was so proud. I loved Miss Ducats. I still run into her all the time. <laughs> She's still hanging out in Oakland, still dancing. She does like senior exercise classes. She continues to be just one of my favorite teachers I ever had. Being in dance made me feel part of something made me feel like I belonged. It was this place where I could release all the emotion of high school, uh, a place where I could feel like there wasn't always a right or wrong answer, but, but that life was, was more expressive and infinite than that. It was my love of the arts that actually brought me to law school because I thought maybe I would go into the enter entertainment industry because they didn't have enough talent to actually be an artist. So I thought maybe I could work around other artists. That's what brought me to law school. That's what got me interested in social justice and public policy, which got me to City Hall and pff, now I'm the mayor. That wouldn't have happened if it weren't for my love of the arts that started in the Oakland Public Schools. I remember as the assistant editor of our yearbook, Skyline High School, class of 83, and the impacts of Proposition 13 were just starting to be felt. And this idea that the drama program, the art programs, the yearbook, that all these things were on the chopping block because of the impacts of the Prop 13 tax reductions. I, I remember crying. <laughs> In yearbook class because these were the things that kept us coming to school that kept us feeling connected to school because arts in schools is a child's right art not only gives children a place where they can succeed where they can develop creativity visual uh, intelligence design um, skills, things that matter in our economy and are invaluable skills that are up there with science and math and reading, but they also create community. This is what the arts are. They are not a luxury, they are a necessity. We have got to keep them alive in our schools. We have got to continue to give our children these incredible skills, this freedom, this connection to the world. This is our responsibility to the next generation.